Yeah, and, and you know, speaking of dogs, speaking of dogs, today is going to be uh, the gospel today is about dogs. <laughs> oh, hi, good morning, everybody. Uh oh. Coffee. Uh oh. It's good. Okay. <laughs> Not for you, though. Not for you. Good morning. Good Nobody morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> not yet, Joe. We're not done. Okay. Okay. So, we were talking about our new uh, uh, German Shepherd this morning. And uh, it just occurred to me that the gospel today will be talking about dogs. Okay. So, let's read. Let's read the gospel today. It's Thursday, February 8, 2018. Jesus. Okay. It's from St. Mark, chapter 7, 24 to 30. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it. But he could not escape notice. Okay. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. Uh, the woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth. And she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. So apparently her daughter was possessed by a demon. He said to her, let the children be fed first. What's the connection? Let the children be fed first. Here's a woman who was begging our Lord to cure uh, her daughter. And our Lord answers that way. Let the children be fed first. For it is not right. To take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. <laughs> okay? No, listen to that. It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. But she replied and said to him. The woman replied and said to Jesus. Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. <laughs> Isn't that what you do, Chevelle? Huh? You keep giving uh, some things for Poi to eat here by the side of you. Okay, so and uh, so this is like our dog uh, Poi, right? He keeps he keeps uh, 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 begging for food right here uh, when he happens to uh, come into the house. Okay, um, so then our Lord said to her, "For saying this, you may go." The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. So, wow, right? Wow, what a miracle, right? So here is, here is um, um, a lady who was Greek. She was Syrophoenician. Uh, what, what's the significance of that? It means that she was not a Jew. She was not part of the chosen people. And our Lord, our Lord tells her, um, it's not fair to give the food of the children to the dogs. What does, what does our Lord uh, mean by that? Was, she dis was he discriminating? Was he, uh, um, you know, uh, restricting his, his uh, graces and his benefits to only the uh, chosen people, to only the Jews? Was he being uh, racist? <laughs> we hear that very often nowadays, right? Was our Lord being racist? Was our Lord being uh, discriminatory by uh, by having to tell that woman and dismiss her like, you know, hey, get out of here, you know, you're a dog. <laughs> don't don't uh, don't try to uh, feed off the table of my children. Well, while it might seem like that, while it might seem like that, that is not exactly what our Lord means okay that's not exactly what our lord means um our lord has always preached about charity uh you know preferential option for the poor right that we should we should uh, help the poor we should always be uh, as part of our charity part of our uh um you know uh, being christian is is to help the poor to help others right uh, our Lord has always talked about mercy and understanding and all of those good virtues. Why all of a sudden here is he uh, treating this woman 
uh, like a dog, as, as he already said, right? It is not right to give the food of the children uh, to the dogs. What our Lord is teaching here is, first of all, justice. First of all, the charity that begins at home. First of all, it has to do with the fact that you have to take care of your own first. So yes, there is, you might say, some kind of uh, discrimination, but it's not really discrimination in the sense that it's logical, it's logical, and it's, it's part of nature that you take care of your own first. Okay? You take care of your own, and you preach to your own, and you, you, uh, you attend to what benefits your own first. That's just part of nature, and that's part of justice. That's part of fairness, right? And after that, well, then you attend to others. Then you, you, uh, you give what is, uh, what is due to others, okay? Now, uh, our Lord is showing a preference here to people who belong to Him, people who are, who are His own, people who He has chosen to be His own children. So this is uh, an expression of what uh, what the faithful, those who are faithful to God, can benefit from. Our Lord is here showing us that if we are faithful to God, if we belong to His inner circle, so to speak, if we belong to the family of God, if we belong uh, to Jesus, to which He is inviting everybody okay, to be part of, if we belong to that family of God and we act like children of God, see, then we stand to benefit. We stand to we stand to to be heirs of the kingdom of heaven. We stand to be the ones that God will favor with His graces and with His with His uh, uh, good things that He that He wants to give us. See, the children of God are heirs to the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Now he invites everybody, all his creatures, to be his children, right? To be his children, and for those who accept that invitation, for those who who uh, who decide that I want to be uh, a child of God and behave as one and live our lives as one, as a child of God, then we are the ones who get the first choice of the food on the table. That is reserved for the children. Okay? We get the choice cuts, so to speak. Okay? Not the refuse. Not the excess. Not, not what uh, the children cannot anymore consume when you give to the dogs. Right? So uh, that is what our Lord means with this kind of uh, 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 story here. It is not that he does not want to, uh, to share that benefit to others. Because that is what he wanted us and he commissioned his apostles and every one of us to do by virtue of our baptism, right? To, to baptize all nations, right? And to baptize all nations in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In other words, we have to invite the whole world. We have to invite everybody around us to be part of the family of God, to be part of, to be his children, right? So uh, it is not discriminatory in that sense. He's not discriminating because... The intention is to bring everybody to the fold. But what this gospel is trying to teach us is that those, for those who have accepted that invitation to be a child of God and to live according to that calling as a child of God, they receive preferential treatment. They are the ones for whom the kingdom of God is reserved. They are the ones who uh, are given uh, the abundance of the graces that God wants to feed them. And our hope is that we are one of those. Our hope is that we benefit from the abundance of the, of the, the graces that God offers to his own children by, by our own faithfulness to God, by living according 
to uh, our calling as children of God. By behaving accordingly as children of God. Okay? So that is, that is the, uh, the significance of, uh, of today's gospel. And you see how our Lord uses that kind or this kind of uh, method of dealing with this woman in order to also, uh, as a way rather, to invite her in. You see, to invite her in. It's like showing her that, look, uh, you are an outsider for now, but if you decide to be part of my family, then this is what you can benefit from. Then you can get, I will give you this kind of favor. See? And, and with that answer that this lady, this lady gave, okay? Lord, you see, even the dogs take of the scraps that fall from the children's table. It was like that was her answer to accept the invitation of Jesus. That yes, Jesus, I also want to partake of that bounty that you are giving your own children. Okay? In the same manner that even dogs uh, 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 crave for what they smell and see on the tables of the children. And they also want to partake of that. So that was our, that was this lady's manner of uh, actually accepting the invitation of Jesus. That if you want this favor, come be part of my family. Okay? And this lady accepted that invitation, and that is why that is why by her expression of faith in that manner, our Lord granted her the grace that she was asking for, the miracle of curing uh, her daughter from demonic possession okay? so let us uh, uh, remember this this um, this gospel uh, today and let us try to live our lives uh, worthy of being called children of God okay? let us let us walk let us walk the earth and let us walk uh, live our days chin up you know Chin up with pride that we are children of God. It's a holy kind of pride to realize and understand we are children of God. But we have to live according to that dignity. Okay? There's a certain dignity that we enjoy. That's the word I've been trying to look for. Dignity. <laughs> the dignity of the children of God. Okay? If we belong to the family of God and we want to belong there and stay there, we have to live according to that dignity, that status. See? I am not just any ordinary person. I am a child of God. Okay? So in order for us to continue benefiting from the graces that God wants to keep showering His children, we better live up to that dignity, the dignity of the children of God. Okay? Okay. Okay, folks, it's time. We're off to Mass. Have a good day, everybody. See ya. See ya tomorrow, tomorrow hopefully again. Okay, bye-bye.